here's the wear on the uh, uh, impact mill. After about a thousand pounds, this corner is finally worn through to where it's touching the base metal. This has a fair amount of wear along here. Now this is un uh, hard faced. So if you were to run half inch thick plate, you'd be in good shape there. This is rounded along this edge. Now this is rounded along this edge here, but not too bad. On the other hand, with the hard facing, we're in pretty good shape. Still, that corner, still okay. That's still okay. So at a thousand pounds of material, the hard facing doesn't even need to be redone, although I would say it's starting to get worn here some. <sighs> Hard facing on the rest of the materials are fine. And that's the amount of dead bedding we have in there. So my thought is quarter inch plate with hard facing works quite well at a reasonable weight. And if you were to hard face basically the entire perimeter with a little extra on the corners uh, this would just go both sides then you could run uh, probably a shift and then swap and you know, just reverse them and leave the other sides on hard face so you get smooth contact with the uh, with the base metal but if you had uh, say a set of impactors um, you should be able to get through a whole shift before actually changing out the impactor and just reversing them if they've got hard facing on them and after every two shifts or more you may have to actually swap out impactors but everything seems to be doing okay you can notice the nuts have you know significant wear you can see that but the ends of the bolts don't seem to have an issue and the back of course has no no wear at all so the design seems to be working all right now let me wash this out and see how much gold there is in the dead bedding that's 300 kilograms of uh, material has gone through since that's been washed out. So let's see what we get. And that's the uh, the gold from the dead bedding. Um, substantially more than the head grade of course. I mean probably five to ten times the head grade. Surprisingly not a whole lot of coarser gold. I guess that could be just because there is no coarser gold in the uh, in the ore. A little bit chunkier stuff over there, but still, you know, 100 mesh, 50 mesh, a few pieces a little bigger than that. Most of that's just the same, same stuff, the two to 500 mesh range.